the ways and fashions and amusements and recreations of the world. By J.C. Ryle Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 There is a common, worldly kind of Christianity in this day, which many have and think they have enough. This cheap Christianity offends nobody and requires no sacrifice. It costs nothing and is worth nothing. The standard of the world and the standard of the Lord Jesus are indeed widely different. They are more than different, they are flatly contradictory to each other. Never be satisfied with the world's standard of Christianity. A crucified Savior will never be content to have a self-pleasing, self-indulging, worldly-minded people. It costs something to be a true Christian. It will cost us our sins, our self-righteousness, our ease, and our worldliness. The ways and fashions and amusements and recreations of the world have a continually decreasing place in the heart of a growing Christian. He does not condemn them as downright sinful, nor say that those who have anything to do with them are going to hell. He only feels these things have a constantly diminishing hold on his own affections, and they gradually seem smaller and more trifling in his eyes. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4.